Will, as a leader on this team, I mean, what were you hoping to see from the group over the next few weeks and speak back? You know, um, one of the biggest things that I think we came to an agreement about when we all met was just everybody being bought in, everybody com being committed. Um, Nobody's looking to take the short route out. You know, we know what we did last year. We know what we have to work on. So everybody just be bought in and committed to what we have to do. You guys, you guys got leaders and and playmakers at every level of the defense with you and Henry and Jordan. What's this defense capable of? You think? I think we're capable of being better than we were last year. I think um, start towards the end we start to gel a little bit more, and I think we just want to roll that over in the spring. And I think that's one of the biggest things: just keep gelling, keep molding together, everybody playing together, everybody playing fast and physical. Uh, Will, what can you tell me about some of the new faces on the defense this year, especially a guy like Chris Braswell coming into a bigger role this year? You know, um, all the young guys have been really doing a good job. You know, Chris, he's been doing a very good job learning the plays, you know, stepping up, um, taking that next step, and he's been doing a phenomenal job. We talk about the personality of this, this defense. What do you see from it filling, forming already, and what, you know, what's, what's this team capable of? You know, this, the personality of this defense is just to be mean, play fast, hit people in the mouth, um, stop the run, get them on third down situations so we can get off the field. Yeah. Do, do you see any parallels between your freshman season and Dallas's last year? And then how have you kind of seen him progress? Is it, is it in a similar fashion to the way you progressed? Most definitely. Um, I was, me, and, me and Dallas had so many bets. And, you know, he, uh, he broke all my records. So um, going into this year, I think he's been very humble. He's still learning. You know, he's not, he hasn't been comfortable with anything. He's still looking for that next step to help him get better and reach his ultimate goal. It's just to be better. Will, being a returning captain, do you feel a sense of personal responsibility for leadership for this team? Oh, most definitely. I think that's one thing that we really lacked of last year was just really good, strong leadership. Um, and I think the leadership group this year so far, we have done a really good job of getting everybody to be bought into, you know, um, the standard and everything that's going on here. How do you how do you personally get better? Can you give us like a couple of specifics of things that you're trying to improve right now? <laughs> um, just right now, just working on my leadership skills. Um, right now, I've just been focused on my schoolwork. You know, springtime is a, you know, a good time to work on that type of stuff. So I've been working on my books, you know, because I'm trying to graduate in December. So that's kind of what I've been focused on right now. Yeah. yeah. Michael, Charlie. You talked about leadership. And what did you learn from last year's group that, that you want to take to this year? You know, I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, don't be scared to say things to people. You know what I'm saying? We're all brothers, you know, no matter how they take it. It's all love at the end of the day. So not being scared to step on people's toes and, you know, just being that vocal leader because people are going to respond. It's just how you deal with it and what you say and how you say it. I know it's only been a couple of months, but what are your earlier impressions of, of Coach Hustler? Um, he's been great. He brings a lot of energy to our room. Um, he's young. He's energetic. And I think he'll be a good fit for us, and everything has been good so far. Uh, it's, have you put into perspective the historic season that you had last year? Has that set in what you did? And do you have any goals for this year? Oh, of course. I have goals every year. Um, and those goals are going to be even bigger and better than the goals I set last year for myself. Um, uh, it has hit me. It was uh, crazy to think about it. But I'm just focused on next season, getting ready to prepare for that season. How different, if at all, this year is the approach going into the season with kind of more of a veteran defense, whereas last year is kind of like more, a bit of a younger defense overall? I think this year the um, it's really not a difference. Is that now we know the standard and we know that we can play to the standard once we all gel and we play together as a team, but it's no different. You know, we still have that same message. We still have the same attitude, and we're just going to keep rolling with that. Saban always talks about not wasting a failure. How much have you watched that film from the championship game, and how much does that motivate you in this point in the year? Um, you know, I watched it a couple of times, but after that, we had to get over it, and we had to start back working on, you know, the season that's coming up. We know the mistakes we made in that game. We know what hurt us. We know what didn't um, lead to us winning that game. So now it's just kind of what do you do to get past that? How do you work? Uh, fourth quarter was great. Um, spring football is going to be great for us, and that's what we're looking forward to right now. I don't think we've talked to you since the national championship game. Just what was your reaction to Coach Saban kind of standing up and defending you and Bryce after the Georgia game? You know, I think that's um, um, that was that was a really like I'm trying to think of a word. That was just a really big moment for me. I know it was a very big moment for Bryce, just to show that you know our head coach does care about us a lot. He does see the hard work that we put in, um, that goes into the team, and you know how much respect he has for us. I think that speaks volumes about Coach Saban and the type of person he is, and the type of head coach he is, to show that he really does care about his players and he sees what they do every day, and it just means a lot. And I know it means a lot to Bryce as well. When you go back home, are you recognized more? 
but yeah. based off what you had did last year? In the airport, everywhere. So I just kind of like try to wear a hoodie now and just keep my head down and roll me and my luggage onto just the terminal area. <laughs> Do you like that extra attention? You said you put a hoodie on, but it, uh, is it good I mean, in any aspect? You know, I think it, it just comes with, you know, what you do, and um, you just have to roll with it. But for me, I just I don't really too much care for it. <laughs>